We are in Vienna, and so are the works of Ai Weiwei here at the Albertina Modern Museum. Let's not miss this chance to see the works of this artist. And we are sharing them to you here on My Palio, My Mundo, a channel for places, events, and cultures. An artist, and I think one of the most controversial figures in China. And his works are here. Let's see his works here at the Albertina Modern Museum. Join me and let's survey his works and perhaps understand why he provokes authorities, especially in China. I included descriptions for most of the works, so pause the video if you want to read them completely. Ai Weiwei has repeatedly addressed the themes of war, flight, and migration in his works. He creates ready-mades from found objects, such as this huge metal gate with bullet holes, which he discovered while filming in Syria near the Turkish border. This bears witness to the violence in the area. When I stayed in Lisbeth in December 2015, he saw the island's shore covered with live jackets and boys, which the refugees had used as they crossed the Mediterranean. Life jackets hence appear in several of the artist's installations and sculptures on the subject of flight. In September 2015, little island Kurdi, a two-year-old boy of Syrian origin, drowned during the crossing to Greece. The picture of his lifeless body on the beach of Budrum went around the world, newspapers printing it on their titled pages. The snapshot bundles the tragedy of a restrictive immigration policy. This found object, which Ai Weiwei has declared a work of art, comes from an abandoned refugee camp. In every camp where communication means everything, the telephone center is one of the busiest places, with thousands of people trying to get in touch with their families left behind in their homeland, inquiring about the best route to Europe, or recharging their cell phones at charging stations like this one. The bike has a specific meaning in China, a country that has long been considered a nation of bicycles. As a child, I himself experienced how important it was to own a bicycle to be able to move from A to B. The glass jars contain dust coming from the Neolithic ceramics the artist broke and ground to the finest particles. The containers put up on a shelf in rows and the title of the work are suggestive of urns holding human remains. Every single one of these sunflower seeds is truthfully and painstakingly reproduced in porcelain by 1,600 artisans in an elaborate, multi-stage process. Each is individually shaped and painted. Ai Weiwei juxtaposes traditional handcrafted products with made-in-China goods, mass-produced for worldwide export. If you found this channel by chance, this is dedicated to places, events, and cultures like this. If you're enjoying our content, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, so as not to miss our weekly uploads. And now we resume our museum visit, the works of Ai Weiwei. I is very concerned not to let the events and victims of the Sichuan earthquake fall into oblivion and to keep alive the memory of the circumstances surrounding the catastrophe.
On the campus of Bai Chuan Middle School, where most of the children had Paris, I had vast quantities of twisted rebar, solvage, and brought to his studio in Beijing as a visible sign of the school's interior construction. While in Sichuan after the earthquake, I was horrified to discover the many school bags that had turned up among the rubble of the collapsed school buildings. They gave rise to the ceiling sculpture, for which the artist joined some 1,000 black and white backpacks with neon green straps in such a way that a pattern snake emerged, forming the menacing beast several meters long. I was a supporter of Julian Assange, the founder of the disclosure platform WikiLeaks, whose goal is to make classified documents available to the general public. In 2012, Assange was granted asylum by Ecuador and spent the following seven years as a political refugee in the Ecuadorian embassy in London. I visited Assange there for an interview in the summer of 2016. In October, Assange sent I his treadmill as a gift. I subsequently declared it a work of art in the sense of a ready-made. And that concludes our visit to the works of Ai Weiwei here at the Albertina Modern Museum in Vienna. See you on the next video and thank you for joining me here today.